see. You can click speaker. Whoa! <laughs> you can click speaker view up up on the top and just see whoever's talking. Just to let you know, so you can focus on Paige. She's doing her thing. Okay, we're officially ready. I'm so glad I got it to work on my computer. So if you know how, would you go ahead and mute yourself, just so we don't hear a bunch of background noise? And then, of course, if you have a question, please, please, please feel free to unmute, unmute yourself and ask, because that is the whole entire reason I wanted to do it like this. I don't know if any of you have been on like a sneak peek with us before, but most of the time we can't see each other and we can't actually talk. So I, I'm not gonna lie, this is a little more intimidating seeing like all of your faces. But could all of you who are here to like listen in and see if this is for you, could you raise your hand so I can just see? Because I know not all of you are here from my page. Quick question, Paige, are you going to record it? Yes, it's recording right now. Okay, perfect, thanks. Of course. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and jump in. Those of you on my team who are here, don't be surprised if I call you out, especially if somebody has a question that I feel like you can answer better than me. So my name is Paige. I have been a coach for, oh man, I'm going on, I think I'm at 18 months or maybe a little bit longer. And it has been the craziest, most amazing journey ever. And I want you to know if you're sitting there like, what in the world am I getting into? What in the world is coaching? You're not alone. That's exactly how I started. I saw this random girl on Instagram, like many of you, and I got really interested because I was like, she has energy, she's having fun, she's working out, she's teaching, she's making money, all of these things. So I reached out to her and I was one of the girls who said no <laughs> really early on. I got really excited about it and then once she told me all the details, I was like, nah, not for me. But then after two months of thinking about it, and like literally thinking about it every single day and watching her every single day. I was like, okay, why am I wasting my time watching her whenever I could give this a try and just see what it could lead to for me? So that was the summer of 2017 that I decided to jump in. I decided pretty, pretty early on that I was gonna go all in with it because I was like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm not gonna halfway do it, I'm gonna give it my all. So for me, that looked like giving my all to my first program, which was a 21-day program. I got amazing physical results, and before I knew it, lots of friends and family wanted to join me, and before I knew it, again, a bunch of strangers wanted to join me, and my business kind of took off. Um, if you have specific questions as I'm talking, again, definitely feel free to ask. But the first thing I really wanted to go over is just like a day in the life of what we do as coaches, because I remember that being something that I was so confused about when I watched my coach. I'm like, okay, I see what you're doing, but how are you making money on social media, working out, that sort of thing. So I'm going to take you through a day in my life as a coach. The really cool thing about coaching though, is a day in the life of a coach for me might look different than a day in the life of a different coach. So you can kind of make it what you want, but I'll tell you kind of what I do. So you're probably gonna think my day starts out a little bit crazy. It does not have to start like this, but my alarm goes off at 5 a.m. in the morning because I'm a very busy girl as a teacher and I oftentimes have commitments in the evening. This is the first year, so I started in August waking up at five. I used to do it in the evening, but for my lifestyle right now, waking up early is much better. So the first thing I'm adamant about, adamant about every single day is that I am living the lifestyle that I am portraying. So it's not just this thing that I'm saying you should do these programs. I'm not just saying you should eat well. I am actually living it out. And you should also know that whenever I started, I wasn't perfect. I'm still not perfect. I started with a journey. We all start with journeys and you learn along the way. So I wake up at 5 a.m., I get my workout in. We actually work out on this app together. Like we all sign on, we put ourselves on mute and we work out, we watch each other for the accountability basically is why we do that. Um, and then usually in the morning, I'm responding to some messages. I'm thinking about what my day is going to look like. Um, I'm making lists of things that I need to do for the day. Um, I might post on social media. I might get on my story and just talk about my workout. I always post my workouts too. If you follow, surely you follow one of us. Usually if you're looking at our stories, we're going to show that we're working out because again, it's about showing that you're actually living the lifestyle. You're not just selling a product. Like that is not what this is about at all. You are living a healthy lifestyle, one for yourself and two, to show other people how it's possible. 
So after my morning, I go off to work. I'm a teacher. I'm a full-time teacher. And obviously while I'm at work, I don't really have time to work. Um, there are times where I respond to messages while I'm at work, like my bathroom break or like definitely on my lunch break. Um, I don't really post on social media throughout the day because again, I'm a teacher and I have responsibilities at my job. So I do that. And then whenever I get home at 3.30, I'm usually back on my social media, just sharing life with people, like saying, I will talk about school, I'll talk about being a teacher, I'll talk about what we have going on that night, I'll make sure my inbox is clear, so I'm messaging girls and I'm helping them um, start their health journeys if that's what they want to do. And then one of the biggest things I do is I check in with my challenge group. So our challenge groups, that's where we really help women with the lifestyle. So I'm sharing about it all the time on social media, but the meat of what we do is whenever you actually help girls with a lifestyle. So basically it looks like this. Somebody like you is watching one of us on social media and you're like, well, what the heck is she doing? Like, I would like to start a health journey. So you reach out to one of us. You reach out to me and I'm like, hey, I know exactly how you feel. I was there. Here's what I have that can help you. Here's how you get my workouts. Here's how you get my meal plans. And then I'm her coach. It does not mean that I'm selling her a project or a product. I'm like, sayonara, good luck, have fun by yourself doing this. That's when the work begins as a coach. So yes, you sell stuff, but that's whenever you first start the relationship and your job as a coach is to be the encouragement, to be the cheerleader, to be the example of a healthy lifestyle. You are not teaching anybody how to work out. <laughs> you are not creating programs. You are not creating meal plans. You are following them, but we have professionals that create them. So you don't have to have any like real qualifications because somebody that's a professional, you know, like Shanti or Autumn Calabrese or whoever, they create programs, we follow them. And then if people have questions about them, we can help them because we're going through the programs with them. So when I run a challenge group, basically I'm making a daily motivational post and hint, if you're in our challenge groups, we can, they have like challenge group guides for us. So if you're like, gosh, I don't know, like I'm in a challenge group right now. How does my coach always come up with those posts? She might not be, or she might be, I don't know. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but they literally have written out guides for you for every program that you would ever complete if you wanted to do it that way. So I'll do a daily post on my challenge group on Facebook and then girls will check in. And my role for that is to encourage the heck out of them to say, I'm so proud of you for showing up like great job showing up today. And that's really it. Like I'm a cheerleader. And if they have questions about the meal plan or the workouts, then I can answer those questions. But that's really what I do. Um, and I would say that's pretty much a day in the life of being a coach. It's mostly just living the healthy lifestyle and then responding to messages and cheering on the girls that you've already helped start their health journeys. So based off of that, I know you're probably like, I'm still confused. I've never been in a challenge group. Tell me what questions you have right off the bat about what we do in a day. Or did I explain it that well? Really? Give me a thumbs up if you're like, I get it. Like, that makes sense to me. I'm a teacher. That's what I have my kids do too. <laughs> okay, good. So it's not this big stressful job. It does take work and it takes time, but we seriously have all the resources we need. Not only that, but if you're ever like stuck or you're like, I don't know what to do, we have coach groups where you can ask questions, whoever you would sign up with. Like if you sign up with me, whoever invited you here is who you're going to be signing up with, obviously. But you would have constant access to whoever your mentor is. Like those girls on here who are mine, they text me with questions all the time or like Marco Polo me and I love it. And I do the same thing with my mentor. Like that's our job. I help women start healthy lifestyles. I also help women run businesses. So at some point, your focus will probably change from helping clients and you'll add on building your own team too. And then you'll be a mentor for people building businesses as well. But I always like to say your focus at first is just, you know, helping those girls start their healthy lifestyles. Does that make sense? Okay. So the next question that I figure most of you have is okay. 
that's what it looks like, but how do you actually make the money? And really there are two ways. So the first one is commission. We make 25% commission on everything we sell. Um, one of my biggest hesitations and probably one of yours is I don't want to be one of those annoying salesy Facebook people, but we teach you how to not do that because none of us want to be that either. Um, it's really about sharing your lifestyle. And like I said, selling the product is like the easiest part of it. The work begins after you make the sale and you start like helping them through the journey. So you make 25% commission on any programs you sell, you make 25% commission on any shakes you sell, on any supplements, anything at all. Apparel, if they happen to buy that, you're going to make a flat 25%, which is a really good profit margin. And then the second way is a little more confusing, but we would go more into that whenever you sign up to coach. Basically, once you start helping women grow their businesses, once your whole entire team starts doing well, you begin to make bonuses. So I have like, I don't know, like 15 girls under me who are really, really pushing for really big goals. And whenever they all do well, then I, as the leader of the team, make a bonus from it. You do not make money off of anybody directly under you. I don't make a percentage of what you make. Um, that's just not the way it works, which for me, I'm really thankful about that, that, that I would not enjoy that at all. What questions do you have about the money making aspect? We also get paid every Thursday. That's pretty sweet. Just throw it in there. Um, I've been doing this for 18 months and in my ninth or 10th month, I started matching my teaching salary. Um, and it's since summer, I've paid off $10,000 in my student loans. So you can dream big. The sky is the limit. Um, it takes work. <laughs> I've been consistent as crap since day one. 18 months of posting online every single day, 18 months of answering questions every day, 18 months of working out almost every day, but it's been life-changing. I've never been this healthy in my entire life. I never thought I would be able to pay off $10,000 of loans in just, I don't know how many months it's been, but it's all worth the work, but it's, it is a job. It is work. No questions about that? Calista, are you trying to say something to me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can now. Okay. My microphone was not working. What about um, taxes when it comes to making money and how, how do taxes work with us? Yeah, that's a really good question. So <clears throat> my first six months of being a coach, I've gone through one tax season so far and it was last year and I hadn't made enough money yet for them to technically tax it. So this year, how, how I planned for it was I saved 20% of every check that I've made. Um, I've not gone through a tax season that I've had to actually go through all of that yet, but I feel pretty confident that I've saved enough. And it's just like any other business, you have tax write-offs. So anything I spend that's for my business, I keep my receipts, I keep a list, and it, it's a business. I mean, most things I do, like I have a lot of tax write-offs because I spend I mean, when I go to Springfield, if I have coffee with a friend and we mention coaching or she asks me a question about coaching, that's a write-off. Um, team retreats. Today I traveled to be on a pod podcast. That's a write-off. Um, traveling to conferences, whatever. Um, yeah, it's just like a normal business. That's a, a good question. Somebody has a question over here. How does the accounting stuff work? That's my question. Olivia, I don't see you, but did I answer your question? Okay. Good. Yes, you did. Good. Do you have other questions about how the finances work? No, her, what you said about um, the other person's question answered mine. Thanks. Okay, good. Yeah, I remember being a little bit scared about that too, because I was like, how, I didn't yeah. understand how it worked, but once you jump in, if you ever have questions like that, all you have to do is ask and somebody will be able to answer it. Also, this type of thing, they're so used to working with it and they know how to handle it. It was like no big deal. You don't have to know all of the answers. They'll help you with that. Okay, the next thing I really wanted to talk about is fears. So I can tell you some of the fears I had before starting, or you can tell me some of your fears slash questions, and maybe I can help you kind of 
maybe ease those fears because I remember having a lot. So does anybody have a fear that's like in your mind that you're like, how in the world did you overcome this? Okay, I'll tell you one of my biggest ones then. <laughs> one of my biggest fears before starting was being that girl, seriously. I know we have all seen, and nothing wrong with that girl, she's doing her thing, she's selling her products, but I just, I am not a fan of seeing products all over my social media. Um, I would scroll right past them, I don't care about your 25% off sale, I do not care about the magic pill or wrap or whatever that's gonna make you lose weight. Like I did not wanna be that person and I was so scared of being that person. But what I found out is I don't have to be that person. I never, and I mean never, have posted a picture of any of my products because I don't want to. People scroll past products, people do not care about your products. So the way you get over that is you share your lifestyle. You share what's working for you, you share how you feel now versus when you did before. You share more than just your business. You share about your husband, you share about your dog, you share about your other job. Um, you don't make your social media all about what you're selling because nobody cares that much. They, they just don't. They wanna know who you are as a person because they're signing up with you. Like your products are great, but you're selling you more than your products. So I think it's really, really important um, that it's not all about making the sale. I have a couple questions over here, I see. Okay, somebody says, my fear would be not looking like a fitness coach before starting out as a coach. I think that is a really common fear. And here's what I'd say about that. If somebody wanted a professional, they know where to find a professional. There are gyms all over in every city where they can go find a bodybuilder, but they obviously don't want that. <laughs> they want a normal girl to work out with. They want the girl next door. They want the girl who still struggles. So if you show up and you're like, look at me, I'm not perfect, and you show them that you can be consistent, and you show them that you can make progress, that's the girl they want. So I know it's scary. I mean, posting my before pictures the first time ever, it was scary. But it was like, I'm going to make progress. And once I put myself out there, and once I use this as accountability, I did make progress. And without this piece of accountability, without this community, I would have given up just like I did every other time. So I think people are more inspired, actually, by girls who don't look like fitness coaches at first. I truly do, because it says a lot to not be at your goal weight and show up anyway and say, you know what? I love myself enough where I am to start this. And I love myself enough to do something about it. So I almost look at that as an advantage. Okay, somebody else says, I think my biggest fear is not being successful, like not getting girls who are interested in commenting to girls about it. The commenting scares me because I don't know how to approach that. Okay, so I would also say that I struggled with the fear of like, what if I'm not successful? But I think for me, I just thought about all of the other things in life that I've accomplished. And it's like, this isn't going to be any different. If I work at it and if I'm consistent and I seek to learn like there's no way I'm not going to be successful and we have so many tools we have so much help there are so many resources to help you be successful that I just don't see that as an option like if you start and you're committed you're going to see success and to be really honest with you the thing that made me actually jump was you know what the absolute worst the worst thing that can happen is I spend $160 and I start my own health journey. Like, and for me, it, it was like, if I can be the healthiest version of myself, and that's the, only ex that's the only success I ever get, it will be so worth it. So that's kind of what made me jump. Um, how do you handle it when people respond with they're interested, but it's too expensive? You believe it's not too expensive. <laughs> I mean, if you believe that it's too expensive, then you don't believe in what you're doing enough. Because from my perspective in doing this for 18 months, an investment of $160 to change my life and how many lives I've seen change, there is no price you can put on living your healthiest life. And that's pretty much how I handle it whenever girls say it's too expensive. I'm like, you have one life to live. You have one shot at living a healthy one. So if you would rather spend your money on clothes or vacations or whatever, that's fine, but 
most of the time too expensive as an excuse to be really honest. That's what I find most of the time. And you know how else I handle it? Oh, you know what? You could be a coach and you can make money doing it. And then it's never going to be too expensive because it'll be a second job. These are great, great questions. You guys can talk too, you know, like take yourself off mute. You don't have to ask them over there. That's a really good point, Tracy. If you are already a challenger, I don't know how many of you are already doing this. It's no cost to sign up as a coach. It's free. So you would be like, you've already paid the money. You can now make your money back plus a lot more. Other questions, other fears? Any other coaches that had maybe different fears than me want to jump in here? So something that someone else had brought up, and I know that you had kind of answered already about just like, oh, well, I'm not the most fit person ever in the whole entire world, and I'm going to be a coach. Like, who am I to tell people what to do? I know that that was like one of my biggest fears because whenever I started, I was at like my absolute heaviest weight ever. But I think it was just extra inspiring for people to know that you're not telling them what to do and like you are doing it with them. And that's like just a really big piece of all of this for me is that I get to do this with people that are going after goals and who are also struggling and they are just real life people, just like Paige said. So it's just really great to know that, I mean, you really are joining a team of people all there to support you because they are also going through the struggle with you. So. Yeah, I really like that. And it's really easy. I think, like, I think a lot of people don't go to the gym and get a professional because they're like, I don't relate with those people because obviously they're all chiseled. They're all perfect looking. They must not ever struggle. They must love working out. They must love chicken and broccoli. But with this, it's like, okay, I see that she still eats pizza and I see that she still has Starbucks on the weekends, yet she's still making progress and she's living a normal life. Like, I think that is why this is so attractive to people because it's not getting out of your house and going to the gym and having the like typical trainer like yelling in your face like that's not what this is this is, it sounds like super cliche but this is like a sisterhood like that's what it feels like and no matter what kind of day you've had like we're there to support each other and when you step in as a coach and you're like i'm not a professional but i want to hold your hand through this program and when you had a sucky day i would like you to text me so we can like chat this out that's what this is all about for me like you see so much change from the inside and out in people, and I love that. And for me, like I'm constantly growing as a person because I'm coaching. Like it just pushes me to be more disciplined. It pushes me to be more committed. It pushes me to be a more loving person. Um, I, I'm so many things have changed for me because I said yes to this. The main reason that I signed up was because I needed the accountability because I was, like Tiffany said, at my worst weight. And I also had that fear of who in the world would want to follow me because I am super, super out of shape. I was embarrassed because I was an athlete. I was known to be an athlete, but I had gained 60 pounds since I had stopped playing basketball for two years. And so for me, I was, one, I was embarrassed. I had to swallow my pride and admit that I needed help too. I was like, okay, if I have these people to check in with every day, I'm going to show up for myself and it's going to help me on my journey while also hopefully inspiring other people. And that's what it's done. I've been able to lose 38 pounds from it and help other women do the same thing. And it's, so if you're wanting to work on yourself, this is a huge and great way to do that. Even if, you know, you can help people along the way, but for me, I know everyone's motivation to start coaching is different. Some people are really in it for money, and some people just need the accountability to continue their health journey. So if you're really wanting to work on your health and be the healthiest version of yourself, I highly recommend doing this for that reason, because you look at this whole group, and a lot of us are coaches, and we're all there to support and motivate each other in not only our business, but also our health journey. And so when we feel down about ourselves, we all can lift each other up. So I love that community aspect of it as well. I do too. And we all know, it's like we should be taking care of ourselves. Like we all know that. And really, we all know how to do it. Like it's eating right 
and exercising. And that's one thing I love about what we do. It's not like there's any secret formula. It's like we're doing what we all know to be true about losing weight. So you're either going to do it or you should be doing it, hopefully on your own, because we know we should be doing it, or you're doing it with people and making money. Like it's a win-win in my eyes, especially if you're already like, I know I need to do something about my health. I know that I need to make a change. Well, you might as well do it with a possibility of earning an extra income while doing it. And something else, sorry to just oh, jump ahead. in, um, that something that really keeps me coming back to it is like all of the people on this call, there's about five girls on this call that I never in a million years would have met if it hadn't been for coaching. And we talk just about every single day. And I know that whenever I'm getting down on myself about either my nutrition or my fitness, like the other day I was just feeling like real rough about it. Morgan actually just gave me a positive perspective about what was happening. And I was like, you know, that's literally all I needed. And the people on this call and all of the other coaches, they're, again, they're there to support you and will pick you up. And I mean, I think that a lot of these girls have actually like legitimately become friends. So that's a really cool part about it too. I totally agree. Sorry, Paige. No, go ahead. Um, I just wanted to say that um, also I saw someone saying what about building a team when you're not local, which is kind of, I feel like, I'm assuming she's talking about this. Um, I want to say that also while you're pouring into people and in challenge groups, you're also getting poured into um, because you are in this community of coaches. And that's one of my absolute favorite things that it's honestly, it's not even difficult for a second to pour into other people when you're constantly you're having to check in with your group of coaches and you can write anything I mean just the other day I think someone wrote oh, I was struggling so hard with snacking late night snacking the last few days da, da, da. and then everybody was able to kind of not only just encourage this person but also give um, tips and tricks and whatever. Okay. This is what I do to help me with late night snacking and stuff like that. And that's just one example of the many that come every single day. And then just like Tiffany said, we have groups that we talk about on Instagram, texting groups. I mean, there's a group of girls on this call that all met up in Arkansas in August and met each other in person after meeting on Instagram. So, I mean, there's so much outpouring just like, even if you just want to, I want to work out in the mornings and I want to have a group of girls that I can call friends because I need community so much in my life because I was living in Dallas by myself a little bit ago and I had community, but at the same time, there's so many times I felt alone and I cannot tell you what a difference it made just to have somebody on the internet <laughs> that I knew to be a great person um, a great group of people that I could genuinely tell my fears, my um, just struggles and everything with on a daily basis and get that pouring into and be able to pour back into other people. And we're just all able to help each other. So someone asks you a question and you're worried, oh, if someone asks me a question, I have no idea what to do. You're going to have this group that you're going to automatically be in to be like, hey, someone just asked me something about this and I'm, I'm new. I don't know what to do. And you're going to get 10 answers in 10 minutes. So that's one of my favorite things about this. And I just wanted to say that in case you're worried that you're going to be really just like out there on your own and scared, not knowing what to do. You're not going to have that. You're going to have a community. Yeah. I think that's a really good thing to mention. And Olivia talking about not being local. A lot of the girls you see on this call, the coaches that are talking, we don't really live near each other at all. It is really fun to be local. Like I have some coaches that live near me. But it is also really fun to have friends all over the nation. And that is probably more typical for me that I have girls that I've never met before that find me randomly on Instagram than it is for me to be like, oh, hey, you're a new coach and you live 30 miles away. That doesn't happen too often. But it's super cool when it does. Um, <clears throat> I have a couple more things to touch on. And then I definitely want to answer any questions you have because I remember having a million and I want you to know exactly what you're getting into if you do decide to step in. So I just want to remind you that as far as qualifications go, because I remember thinking I'm not qualified to do this, there are zero, zero qualifications. The only qualification is that you are willing to work hard and you're willing to show up. Like that's really it. So don't feel like because you've never been an athlete or because you are 
you have a journey to go on or you don't have the right personality or you don't have the training or whatever, it doesn't matter. If you look at the coaching world, there are girls of all shapes, all colors, all sizes, all everything. Like going to coaching events is so cool because it's not a typical like, you're not gonna go and see a bunch of perfect girls. You're gonna go and see, first of all, men and women and a bunch of imperfect people who are just trying to live their best lives by being healthy and helping others do the same. So no qualifications. Um, I also want to remind you and encourage you and just put those fears to rest that this is not about selling. We do sell products. Yes, that's how we make the living doing it. But it's so much more than sharing products. It's so much more than that. And we'll definitely train you on how to like show up on social media without being a salesperson. Because let's face it, people who like show up and just sell things online, they quit those things within like a month. And we don't want that happening. Um, okay, the last thing I really want to touch on is, okay, you've been listening and you're sitting there like, okay, I'm in, I want to get started. What in the world would that look like? So really three things. The first thing would be your investment. If you are already a client, if you're already in a challenge group, your investment is nothing. And your coach will tell you about that. If you are not a client yet, you're not in a challenge group, you would invest $160. And that is the price that you would pay to get all of your resources. So you would get the access to all of the workouts, which by the way, it's called Beachbody On Demand. And you have, it's like a Netflix of workouts and you get access to that for an entire year, you would get your first bag of Shakeology, which is our nutrient dense shake, um, and then you'd get all the meal planning stuff. And that's what your investment is going to. Um, after that, you would pick your first program that you wanted to complete. I'm sure you can talk to your coach and she will tell you her suggestion. But for me, my suggestion is always 21 Day Fix because it's amazing and it changed my life. <laughs> so I would say, if you're gonna sign up with me, that's what I'm gonna tell you. The other girls, if you're going to sign up with one of them, they would probably tell you the same thing. I'm not sure. But you would pick a program, and you would do the dang thing. You would not halfway do it. You would do it, and you would get results. So show up every day. You would follow the program perfectly, and while you were doing that, you would share everything about your journey with your friends and family and social media and say when it sucks. You're going to say when it's great. You're going to say what you're learning from it. You're going to say what's hard about it. You're going to say, I don't feel like working out today, but I'm going to do it anyway. You would say literally everything. The more you share, the more you show, the more somebody's going to be interested in joining with you because they want to know what they're getting into. So you would pick a program, start it, do it through completion, share your, your results, all of that. In the middle of that, people are probably going to be like, what the heck are you doing? I want in. Um, and then you'd share it with the world and you would begin helping people. And just for your information, in order to make profit in this business, the goal is to help three women a month. Once you get three women a month to sign up with the programs and like get into your challenge group, you're making profit. So it's super doable and that's the number I always keep in mind. After 18 months of being a coach, I'm like, I just need to help three women. Three, three women this month and I'm making profit. So yeah, it's amazing. All of us are super passionate about it and I think that's what it takes. You cannot sign up and be like, I'm just gonna make a bunch of money because it's not that. You can make a bunch of money, but it's also a real job that takes work. Um, you've got to be passionate about figuring out your own journey. That does not mean that you can't have ups and downs because all of us do, but it does mean that you have to be consistent and show up. Like I said, 18 months in, and there have been maybe two days, no more than that because I went camping once and didn't have service. So altogether in 18 months, maybe maybe nine to 10 days that I've not shown up on social media and I let people know if I'm not going to. So it's work, but it's been so worth it. So what questions do you have now? Don't be shy. Literally, whatever's on your mind, I'm an open book. I would answer anything and I think all the other girls here would too. Okay, I want to just say something really quick. Yeah, go for um, it. So I started following Paige last, like October, I think. So over like two years, essentially this October. And I did not start coaching until February because I was so nervous and I had so many fears and I was literally like, I wanted everything to be perfect. And that's one of my reasons why I didn't start because I was like, I'm not a good weight. I have no energy. I have no time. I'm super busy. I went on and on and on. 
Um, so I asked Paige a ton of questions and then I jumped on like a call like this and it really showed me like, if I'm here, if I'm listening to this, then there's like a reason, like it's on my heart. It's something that I'm supposed to do. Um, and I'm a teacher, I'm an elementary teacher and I love being a teacher, but it is definitely a job that you don't get thanked for. <laughs> um, and I feel like it's such a draining job emotionally, just cause you get so invested in your kids and the parents and just the environment. Um, and that was one of the reasons why I didn't start. Cause I was like, I have no energy. Like when I get home, I like crash on the couch because I work hard all day. I'm pouring it into other people. Um, and that was one of my fears, but from coaching, it's like, it is crazy how much energy I have and how much I want to help women. And on it, like the best part of coaching is when I get a message from a girl that has been struggling or that's been tired or that doesn't know how to fuel her body with nutrition. And she's like, Lauren, you help me with this. You fix this. I am able to play with my kids on the floor now. Like it almost brings me to tears because I'm like, I did this. I helped her like she's doing the work, but I started this, which it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it really, really is. I see another question. So Courtney said, how do you decide what program to do next? Do you all do the same stuff together all the time? Like transform 20 now. It kind of depends, Courtney. It depends on what's going on in the Beachbody world. If there's a new launch of a new program, you don't have to be part of it. But it seems like most of the, like, it's really fun, first of all, to do a new program with everybody. Like, there's so much hype around it. Everybody wants to be doing it. So that's why we all kind of do it together, just because, like, you have so much support whenever, I don't know, we have, like, I don't even know the number of coaches we have. But whenever everybody's doing it together, it just adds this new energy, this new excitement. But you never have to do what everybody else is doing. If I wanted to do, like, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to do 21-day fix again. Probably no other coaches will be doing it with me intentionally, but I'm going to do it, and that's what I'm going to have my group do. So essentially, you are the CEO of your own business, and you really do make all of the decisions. We just enjoy doing them together. And honestly, my first six months coaching, all I did was 21 day fix and 21 day fix extreme. It wasn't until January of last year that I even branched out and tried a new program because I was loving what I was doing so much. And it was my choice. My coach let me just say, hey, whatever you want to do, it's, it's yours. Hey, do I have another question? Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Go ahead. Ask your question. <laughs> Ask your question, then I'll say something. <laughs> well, I, I know, Paige, I'm a teacher too, and I know that you're married. Um, so how do you balance, like, you're working out at home and you're cooking for your husband and all those kinds of things, trying to stay on track, but also um, feeding somebody who eats probably a lot more than you do? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I have to make a lot of food at my house. Yeah, that's a really good question. So... To be honest, I think that the balance portion is one of the hardest things, especially since I love coaching so much. Like I could work myself to death with it because I truly am so passionate about it. And I'll be really honest with you, my first year and maybe even longer, I didn't do the balancing act so well. So my advice to you would be if you start right out of the gates, make yourself business hours and make your business hours count. That's one of my 2019 goals because I've been told by friends and family, like, get off your phone. I'm like, you're right, you're right. And I'm so guilty of working all day long and that's not even effective. It's just not. So set yourself like an hour a day, make yourself a list of these are the things I'm gonna complete. Be okay with completing them, shutting off work and going on with your normal day. That would be my biggest advice for that. Um, but I will say for me, I've not said this very much, but my actual goal is to do this full time. So I think that my husband and my family are a little bit more understanding with me right now. And I'm a little bit more understanding with myself as well, because I'd rather work my butt off right now and be able to live my life and like have the freedom of doing this job full time and raise kids at home and all that. Um, so that's partly why I struggle a little bit with balance, but totally would recommend business hours. That led perfectly into what I was going to say. I was going to say that at first I was a little intimidated because so many people were talking about how it was their goal to make this like their job one day, like they wanted to quit their jobs. And I was like, I haven't even started my career yet. <laughs> I mean, I'm still in grad school and I want to be a speech pathologist. 
but I think that that's the beauty of this, that you can still have your full-time job that you absolutely love and this super fun thing on the side that you get to make money for all your hard work that you do at home, all while being the best version of yourself. So don't think that your end game has to be to be a beach body coach like for the rest of your life, unless that's what you want, then you can go get it. But that was something that I was kind of like, I don't really want that. So I don't know if this is for me, but you can do it just kind of as a hobby on the side. I mean, I still have big goals. I still want to rank up and, you know, make extra money, but maybe like extra vacation money or something that will benefit my family. Maybe not something to pay the bills, if that makes yeah. sense. I love that point because I sometimes get stuck on the fact that that's what I want, but you should know that like I've been working, I'm just going to be like straight up real with you. Okay. I'm going to tell you this just because I need you to know it's possible and that's it. I work like one to two hours a day and my passion is here. But if my passion was also in my classroom, I could do them both. I do do them both really, really easily. But since I've matched my teaching income, I'm making double. Like you could potentially be doing this completely part time, like I am doing currently, and like crazily change your budget while still keeping your career that you're still passionate about. But for me, my passion, just where I feel like God is leading me at this point in my life and all that he's doing is that this will be my full-time eventually. But you could do this as a discount coach, which just means that you would sign up as a coach and you'd get 25% on anything you ever wanted to purchase. Plus you could help a few friends when they wanted your help. You could be a hobby coach, which would mean that you would just work your business. And it's like, like Meredith was saying, your fun money. Like for me at first, that's all I ever thought I was going to be truly like, I didn't want to feel guilty about getting my hair dyed because it cost me like $120 when I go get it done. I wanted vacation money. I wanted some money to pay off debt. I never thought I would even aspire to go full-time with it. But that again is what's so awesome about it. It's like, what other job, like extra job, do you get to decide exactly how much money you want to make and how much time you want to put on it um, without like a boss telling you what to do? Well, we are at 45 minutes. Does anybody have any like last minute questions for any of us before we call this to a close? Okay, so in the coaching coffee, co what, I don't even remember what I called it, coaching coffee and chats, is that what I called it? I think so. Are you all in that Facebook group? Most of you? No? Okay, I'm gonna put a post in there if you're in there. And if you are ready to think about your next steps, if you want a more in-depth conversation, if you want, if you're ready to jump in, I'm going to have you tag your coach who invited you to this underneath. If you are not in that group and you just know one of us on Instagram or Facebook or in person or whatever, right after this call is over, I'm challenging you like the second we hang up to make a move. Do not let fear get the best of you. If you're interested in this and you're like, I'm like, I'm really feeling like I want to give this a shot, do something about it when we hang up. Either post in that group or reach out to your coach right now and have that conversation. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end the meeting unless anybody has any questions right now. Okay. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Seriously, I know this is 45 minutes that nobody has, but you already have made a commitment to come and listen and learn, and that's a really big deal. And just so you know, this is kind of what life as a coach is like. We do this kind of thing often, so we get to hang out a lot. Alrighty, I'm going to end this. Don't forget about your challenge.